Hey guys, this is UX Walt Gaming. Today we're going to well, tonight, save the night, and we're going to play Wolf Among Us episode 3. We're actually going to do this. So, so we find out that it is a suspicion. Kill him! Kill him! I'll rip him apart! Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! <laughs> What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... Not now. I have a right to know. If my wife is... Honey... Shit! The crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? At the troop trap. Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham Bridge. The trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait! What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... please be careful. I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Okay, well, I'll try. If you're here, then Sorry, you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted no, no, what I'm and not gonna cared for. Just wave her over. And she'll know that I'm not going to interrupt. I oh, won't um, interrupt her offend you by claiming that one works? day that oh, shit. the pain of losing He's alive! Will ever Your subside. Highness. I know as oh, well as you uh, Sheriff. Can never subside. I'm sorry, I, uh... Are you holding up, man? About as well as you'd think. I haven't had any other, um... It's never been as bad as when you saw me first. I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral, and Holly was getting closure, I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. Then I remembered... Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her picture. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I know, Sheriff. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? I never met Lily, but from what I've been told, I know in my heart that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. You were a big, bright, shining star in this shithole of a town. And I miss you already, Gran. Bigby, is everything okay? Wait for to finish. No, not you. Calm down, Holly. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Paul. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Settle down. Holly, settle down. I'll only take a minute. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show I your face I didn't do here. that. After you lie, after you promise me. I'm not lying. Holly, I'm no well, liar. That was Crane, just Crane. He'd 
disposed of Lily's body before Big Ben yeah. knew anything about but, it. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. <clears throat> Polly, it's gonna be okay. I give a shit. Holly, Bigby's trying in, in his own way, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know, I I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us, right now. I think it was Ichabod Crane. What? Crane? Crane. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? He says that fucking Crane murdered Lily and you expect me to- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Yeah. I can't believe this. This is someone I've worked with for decades. This is a guy... He gets freaking shakes when he has to order food. I mean, what are you telling me? It, it's all an act? Just, what have you found? Bigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, The Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying well, everything well, I can right now to not picture it. To not picture him. We should go. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. Photos that show him... He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. Okay. Fucking decision. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? It was Crane's room. But you knew that already, right? Nerissa! Yeah, uh... Coming! Constable? 
Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. The you know girl. how this goes. The first thing in a visit, oh, you say, tweeters. how do you do? How do you do? Now is really not the time for whatever you jerk-offs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You have three seconds to fuck off before this goes to a place you don't want it to. Oh, I don't have my stopwatch on me. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? Just don't hurt anyone, D. That don't sound like a yes to me. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Now you're announcing Bigby, what is he deal. talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... I'm not making any deal with you, so just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? Think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. <laughs> yeah, listen to your lady love. Things uh, don't have to turn sloppy now. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Holly! Holly! Shit! I got it, dumb! Get that asshole. Do I have to press Q? Oh, I'm alive, but it's probably dead. Oh, she might be dead. She's motionless, so... Ah, sadly, it's a chance. She dead? Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna skip the trailer here. Okay, now. Okay, now it's me all patched up, so... I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Bigby, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. Chicken! All right then, very good. <laughs> Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White? Big B? So, to recap... 
Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafter. That about cover? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Well... Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you I really guess think he killed nice. those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar. Now you're and I'll always him. hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes. <clears throat> Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just can't fucking stand that they got away. We'll catch up to them, Bigby. You did enough. Can I, um, ask you a question? Sure. It's kind of personal. And yes. I don't want to offend you. Sure. It's just, when stuff hits the fan, <laughs> like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Shit. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. Gonna be for a bit. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know Never that mind it... that. Come help me look. Oops. I think you need help. Find anything? No, but there's enough notes and stuff here to take all night. Maybe check that stuff there. What stuff? What the fuck? was here. That's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? 
Well, he called up somebody. He said he oh, needed to see shit. his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that shit. is. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. Hey! He set the meeting at 2 a.m. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me I called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, but... This isn't your concern. No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Big None of my business? Well, Crane's might, the murderer. Might work he here, so it seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror, so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that Who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes this a moot point. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. <sighs> All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is, and where they live, and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. Yeah, and that's if he's even going there. We're trusting a monkey's interpretation of a phone call. It's not an interpretation. It's what he said, all right? Yeah, and it's what we have. So let's go on it, okay? Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they'd never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. Bluebeard, just stay out of it, all right? You'll just mess things up further. I can't get any more messed up. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere and is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. Where are you gonna go, Bigby? 
Oh shit, do I have to choose to get my to go to Lawrence? Mm, I'm take that so it's a glitch. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. <laughs> no, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Dee's office, Crane's apartment. So I'm gonna cross off Crane's apartment, you know, because I'm, I'm gonna let Beer go there, and so the only thing we have left is Holly's bar again. Dee's office, so. So, it's a possibility that D might be there, um, and we could try to negotiate with them, and try and try to convince them where the witch is, because we really need to find them, but Holy Spore, I think I'm gonna go there, because Snow's probably right on this piece of shit, so... Um, you know what, I think... You don't know what, I'm gonna... Maybe Holly's bar would be better, but... Well, Dee's... I think I'm going to go to Dee's office because, you know... You know how it works, because... Negotiation might help. Ian Dumb must know where he is. I should go to their office first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll look up their address. I hope you know what you're doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, hi. Sheriff Bigby. Great, great to see you. I don't know if you remember me. I've, uh, seen you around, but you may have forgotten- I know who you are, Flycatcher. You, you've worked at the Woodlands for how many years now? <laughs> I think I've lost count. But you know, Crane, uh, let me go recently. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, it's no big deal. So, what brings you here? I mean, can I help you with anything? Are you here to see one of the brothers? D or dumb? Have you seen a witch come by? Um, I don't know. Sometimes. Really? Who is she? Do you know where she lives? Uh, I don't know her name or where she lives, really. She just sometimes drops stuff off for the brothers to deliver. Deliver to who? I've never had any reason to see for myself. Sorry. It's been, uh... A quiet night so far. I think the twins are out, probably working on a case. Sometimes I don't see them for days. Damn. They gave me the job after Crane told me to get lost. He said I was just in the way. Where's their office? Oh, right this way. I, I was going there next anyway. I can let you in if you want. You can wait for them there. Sure, thanks. No problem. I'm gonna have to take a look around. Uh, well, I, I guess that would be okay. I wasn't really asking for permission. Right, you're the sheriff. I just don't want to get in trouble or anything. I'm sure it's fine. I mean, they never told me not to let you in. Just keep to the back, out of the way, all right? Right. Okay, so what do I do here? I can't go through this. Maybe the brothers are hiding in. My catcher's doing a secret, maybe, but let's just look around because I am pretty fucking sure that it's not an option. You know about this? Uh, no. Okay. Set yourself then. Uh. Dear Brother Dumb, I hate dogs and you know it. Sincerely, Brother D. What's that about? They do have their quirks. Ah. Hey, old Dutch. 
his roots. Dear Brother D, I think we should get ourselves a dog. Sincerely, Brother Dunn. A couple of freaks. <sighs> this is pointless. I, I know these guys can come off abrasive at times, but they aren't so bad once you get to know them. And they really care about helping people. They're kind of loud at times, but you get used to it. I only care about helping criminals. No, I, I think you've got the wrong idea. They help all kinds of people. They're detectives. Sure. Anyone can come in here with a problem and they'll do their best to fix it. The way Dee explains it, it's like if someone lost their cat, well, they could hire them to, you know, track it down. Or like sometimes, they get packages for people. They can be like couriers, you know? You mean for people other than the witch? Oh yeah, all kinds. Come to think of it, I don't really know where they keep them. Anyways, I'm just saying, you just don't know them like I do. Sure, flycatcher. Okay, is that, is that the rest? Okay, I'm gonna... Hold on. But that was, uh... What the fuck else? Did you talk to him? I'm sure you have your reasons, but it's just they, they've done so much for me. Okay, then. But, oh! Should have noticed that. Let's see if they got a file on Crane. Oh, there's a file. Damn it! Ichabod Crane. He owes the crooked man money. Shit. How was he planning to pay this all back? Request for property acquisition. Further details filed under donkey skin. Crane hired them to look for a photo? Why did he want it back so badly? Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's back Find up. anything? Not what I need. <laughs> See, I knew you wouldn't find anything. Anything of interest, anyways. They're, they're detectives, like I said. Just just trying to make an honest living. I'm finding enough. I'm just saying. <clears throat> Look, just trust me on this. Tweedledee and Dumb are not nice. They're not helping anyone. Well, they helped me. Okay, great, they helped you. That's one person. Now, please, just let me concentrate here. So, oh, do I really have to look all the rest? It's fucking ridiculous. Beauty's in debt to the crooked man? Shit. Yeah, shit. <laughs> Detective Brannigan? Oh. Keep an the eye girl, on her. The girl from the last episode? Yeah. So that's why they were at her apartment. And the woodsman's place. Oh. <laughs> what, if, what if you're wrong about them? I'm not. They're misunderstood, sure, but that doesn't mean everything people say about them is true. I mean, you, you know, know, like when, when I think, think about it, you guys aren't, aren't that different. different. You help people, and they help people. Not that it's any of my business, but I just wanted to say, you know, give them a chance. People can surprise you. Bigby? Shit. There's something here. I know there is. There has to be. Why would there be anything Because to... they're lying to you, okay, Flycatcher? That's why. They aren't detectives. Yes. They're somehow involved in the murders, Flycatcher. Two fables are dead. Bigby, what happened to your... Okay, that probably becomes... You want to know better. what this is? This is them showing up to Lily's funeral with fucking shotguns. I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, 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 I didn't know. Holly and Grant both got injured. Snow White nearly got her head blown off. Do you get it now? 
I didn't mean to. There's a door behind this file cabinet. Now, I don't know what they keep back here, but it might be what you're looking for. Well, that key you found should work. That key? What key? Okay, is what? Okay, I don't remember getting a key, but that seems weird. But okay, I'll accept that. It, well, it, if it didn't show me giving grabbing a key, um, and this was probably unintentionally an error. I'm just going to accept that the wow. errors happen. Errors happen. Pretty sure it's something they aren't supposed to have. This isn't the witch, though. What are you looking for, exactly? Maybe I can help. Anything about Crane. Or the witch he was using. Something. Well... How am I supposed to... Hold for BCW. <laughs> JD. Gosh, there's a lot of fun in your boxes. A book. This doesn't really tell us much. Yeah, pretty sure. I'm gonna do this package first. Butcher? Damn. What is this stuff? He doesn't know. Maybe he hasn't been in this room before. It's kind of, well, you know. Well, it's kind of looking at the bandage. I'm sorry, for like I know I'm late. Million years. To you soon. Think about Crane. What? Who was he sending money to? Crooked man. Care of the lucky pawn. You know what that oh. is? Leave money, it is an art. Is that what you needed? I don't think so, but it's interesting. There's more going on here. I still need to find that witch, though. Okay. Okay, have they already searched this path again? Okay, maybe, maybe we can look at it again. Hey, Bigby. What? Do you think, after all this, do you think I could come back to the woodlands? Oh, you worked there before? Since Crane now you're working with those I mean, I can still work here, but I don't think I want to now. Well, you to should her. talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... Thank you. Don't mention it. It's Snow's hair. Snow White? Why... We found her hair like this inside Lily's glamour. Anti-Greenleaf. This must be the witch Crane was using. Oh shit! I guess D and Dumb were getting the hair for Crane and sending it to her? That's not a pleasant thought. It might be There's no address on it. So so what now? I wonder if Buffkin and Snow had any luck. Maybe they found an address. Or Maybe. can check for a record on Anti-Greenleaf. I think I saw a phone near the back. Thanks. It's You're welcome, Sheriff. You don't, you don't. Is this office? This is Snow White. Hey, Snow. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I've been answering. Okay, you don't, you don't click phone numbers and it just, it just goes go with the Tweedle Brothers. 
That's no ridiculous. Address, but I got a name for Two on the list. Auntie Greenleaf. You heard of her? No. I'll get Buffkin started looking for a record, but it might take some time. Huh. Somebody's got to know where to find her. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleaze ball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. Maybe. You might want to try Holly's place, see if she hasn't burned Lily's things yet. Or Crane's, you might find something there. Although, Bluebeard's been there. I'll leave it up to you, but we don't have much time. Crane is meeting her at 2 a.m. Oh shit! Have to decide again? Are you fucking kidding me? I don't know what. Maybe Crane's already done. I'll go to the trip trap, see about Lily's things. I think that's our best option. Sounds good. Just just be gentle with Holly when you get there, okay? No. Mm -hmm. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. Maybe. We'll catch him, Snow. Bigby, I have to go. Someone just came in. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's me, Bigby. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. I think he needs to screen. You got shot right in the okay, chest. Okay, okay, before you get all huffy, you, it was Snow who let me go, all right? It just, there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Don't soil yourself, Woody. I'm sure he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Grant, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, oh, she, very you nice high. And you are, you are injured and drunk. And he right. said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Oh, that's too much cups. You should know that. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. So, so it looks like that Holly's life. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas? 
I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. Not drinking. You're not drinking. Okay, guys, e easy now. We'll help you. With I'm in my happy place right now, Wolf. Pump the brakes, will you? Well, this ain't gonna be a happy place since you passed Grand, out. Grand, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Oh, shit. <laughs> Suffering don't do nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna just be an ass and do nothing. <laughs> What more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? What is the problem here? What stupid shit will you both not let go of? Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? Our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. I think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Gray. Gren. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. I'm trying not to. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Thanks for the Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Drink too much. All right, Sheriff. What a fucking day. What? That's ridiculous. Count. Uh -huh. I'll try not to wait. Oh, don't tap her. Just. God damn it. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Pretty much. D. 
Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. Of course I do. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. <laughs> I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I need to, uh, look through your sister's things. To get Crane? Yeah. Oh, man, it's number two. Sheriff, why are you going after him? Crane, you could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? I'm doing this for faith. Oh, at least you're honest. You just remember whatever bullshit excuse you tell yourself. I'm counting on you, so don't have any more fuck-ups. Shit. If you were getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. Looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? I'm here. Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Okay. Stop with the weird music, all right? She done walked with him. Ah. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. Okay, hold on. I hurt my eye. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Let's politely knock. Especially with a killer. <laughs> Hello? Oh, little girl. Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Well, pardon the intrusion. I wasn't aware this was a munchkin's house. No, Dorothy, it isn't. <laughs> Sharp kid. <laughs> Who are you? Rachel, who are you? Just so... I'm gonna be polite. I'm Bigby, <laughs> this is Snow. Pleased to meet you. How do you do? Is there, um... Is there anything you need? We're looking for a man. A skinny, pale, nervous fella. Have you seen him? My art teacher says men are a waste of time. Do you go to school? <coughs> Sometimes. Is there... Uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. 
sure. Okay, Bigby. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. Okay. No one's been up. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. <laughs> Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? Not here. There's no one here but me. Okay. I saw a spider over there yesterday. Oh? Maybe, maybe, maybe she's hiding something. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? <laughs> maybe. Maybe he's late. Who knows? Maybe the witch is late. I don't think that. I don't think that girl is the witch. The butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the butcher. Yeah. I saw one just like it at the Tweedle's office. Oh, yeah. God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. Keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour oh. tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Okay, is it cold? Oh, no, 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 please, 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 just put that back. Exactly okay, is the code? No one is allowed to play with is that. Is the code? Oh, honey, Bigby's not going is to break it. Is the code used it currently? She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tape. <laughs> Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me! The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. <laughs> Please! I'm begging you! I don't wanna... I don't wanna get in trouble! <laughs> when you do it that fast. What? You think we have time to waste on this shit? Think this is some kind of game? No, I don't. But congratulations on winning it, if that matters to you. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. Please, Greenleaf, just help us catch Green. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. <coughs> Just why in the name of everything holy are you protecting this weaselly scumbag? I mean, <coughs> what on earth could he have done to deserve this kind of loyalty? Crane could be hollow bones tomorrow, and you wouldn't see me cry a drop. But that doesn't mean I can tell you anything. You have friends, don't you? Well, I don't want Crane's friends for enemies. Sheriff Bigby has evidence that Crane has been murdering young women, at least one that we know of. You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink or crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... We can protect you, okay? Whatever it is you're afraid of, we can make sure that it won't come to pass. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Okay, you know what I think? I think we've been more than patient with you. 
This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, oh, and shit. now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. Maybe. I frankly don't give a crap. If she's afraid for her life, we can at least make sure she never hurts us again. What? We're destroying the tree. No! Shh. How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where maybe do you think they could go? Maybe, that? You're maybe making money there was off of cash. other people's misery. Two fables <laughs> are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. No, it's too much. We can't ruin this woman's life over this. Ruin this woman's life? It's a slap on the wrist compared to what she's done. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here oh, and he left. At least we have the truth. He went to the pudding and pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the ring of dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girls' speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. What? Please, Shit. Shit. Don't. Just burn the tree. Orders are orders. Burn the tree. I don't know what else to say, man. I don't know. <laughs> Doomed me. Do you know that? I told you everything. And then you extinguish the only measure I have in this horrid world. What monsters are you? What horrible, evil, villainous, warped monsters are you? I have nothing. Nothing. You took everything from me. I have nothing. What you No, it's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hey, Hold on. Sheriff, is there something more I can help you with? You decided you want a taste of the wares? Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Get out of the way. Ah. Oh, I mean your way, love. Tell me what you know now! Hey! You can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! You're I under can't. arrest! I can't! I'm sorry! I... Don't move, Crane! You're under arrest! Oh my god! Help me! I had nothing to do with this! The hell I you didn't! Do did anything! I... I promise you, I didn't do anything! These girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up! I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all! They can't talk because of that spell, but once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over! That's all. Please. I'm innocent. <clears throat> completely, completely innocent. No one's ever talked their way out of an execution, Crane. No, 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 really, this will work, I tell you! I... I went to... You... Damn you, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her! My lips are sealed.
many years? <laughs> what? How many years has this been going on? Too... Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just... I... It just... Oh, God! We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's... That was... I just... I just love you, Snow. I love... I love you, and... and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? He's not... He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. We've been chasing this guy. Just... Why now? Because look at him. You said you found Maybe evidence right. of him defrauding <clears throat> Fabletown. Of using our money for his own... Ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? This fuck up knows more than he's saying. I don't. I don't. Uh, yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? You know, when I saw you come back here... We'll find out who did it soon enough. Just trust us, Vivian. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane, you are under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to me. You have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. You don't get to pick when to listen to me. Just because you did what I asked back at Greenleaf's doesn't give you the right to act now without restraint. I know. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader. Starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. What are you saying? Just shut up, Crane. Plus, you have the right to remain silent. What?
Recently come under our attention that you're how shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the crooked man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheep until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told them anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here, like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fable Town business. Step aside. Tweedledee, what's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mondays call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody, bloody Mary. Bloody Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. Oh. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. This is my job. I like my job. So think about what I'm gonna do to you, your girl, and the rest of your friends if you don't hand over the sock puppet now. I told you he'd never just give him up. Time for bullshit then. Well, I guess. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> oh, you're gonna shoot me, huh? Oh, shit! Now I'm gonna third evil possibility. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm alive, Maybe. Snowy. I'm alive, Snowy. Yep, I'm alive. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> 
guys. That was a good fight. Well, Dumb's dead now. That was a good show. But, you know, I just didn't know when to end. But a pure werewolf. But as Come on! Come on! God damn it! Right, God damn it! Tell tell! I mean, hey, look. I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> Can you argue with these results? Damn it! Shit! Oh, I can't. Wait! Oh God! <laughs> Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. No. Uh, stay out of this. I can still talk as a wolf. <laughs> it's your lucky day, kid. Crooked man says it's okay with him. <laughs> Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? <laughs> oh, and just between us girls? Crane ain't no kill. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope. Not like your boyfriend here. Oh. Oh. Well, this is gonna be a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. I mean it. I'm jazzed about it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I'm sure we'll be in touch. See you around. Subscribe, and this is UX Walton Gaming signing off.